hello everyone welcome back to accounting theory class last class you have studied the property theory and in this class you are going to study about the entity theory and residual theory first one is the uh, second one is the entity theory according to this theory business entity is the center of interest and not the owners net income does not belong entirely to the owners but it also belongs to the entity so here you can see the uh, difference between the proprietary theory and entity theory under entity theory uh, entire profit is taken by the owners right entire profit is belong to owners only but under entity theory here the center of interest is business entity so entire profit is not belong to belongs to owner but it also belongs to the entity only portion only part of the profit is belongs to the owner okay so here uh, under entity theory the center of interest is business entity under proprietary theory the center of interest is proprietors or owners okay uh, then features of entity theory so separate legal entity so under uh, according to, to entity theory business is treated as a separate legal entity from its owners then uh, here the profit belongs to company or business entity then the business unit is responsible for paying the third party liabilities and not the shareholders of a company so here business is treated as a separate legal entity from its owner right so business itself is responsible for the payment of third party liability so here shareholders are not responsible for uh, paying the third party liabilities and this theory mainly applies to the corporate form of business enterprises okay. <coughs> next one the residual theory according to this theory equity shareholders are considered as residual owners of the firm here residual equity refers to remaining part of the assets available to equity shareholders after meeting specific equities that is outside liabilities and preference shareholders so the residual theory is an expansion of proprietary theory okay so according to this theory equity shareholders are considered as residual owners of the firm so here residual means remaining here remaining portion of the profit will be paid to shareholders after meeting uh, the specific equity so here uh, say for example at the time of winding up or liquidation of the company uh, outside out, outside outsiders or creditors and preferential shareholders get uh, they get and they get preferential right to receive the payment okay so remaining part of the assets will be available to equity shareholders first the business has to repay the amount to outsiders and preferential shareholders after that if any amount left it will be available to equity shareholders okay so here equity shareholders are the risk bearers features this theory divides proprietor that is shareholders into equity shareholders and preference shareholders because shareholders are risk bearers and preferential shareholders have the preferential right to get their amount back then this theory is based on the risk bearing and 
this theory defines liability side of balance sheet as specific equities and residual equities so uh, specific equities includes third party liabilities and preference share capital and residual equities which are related to equity shareholders let us solve the solve one problem so find out the owner's equity from the following information under entity theory and residual equity theory equity share capital is rupees 10 lakh preference share capital rupees 5 lakh reserves rupees 5 lakh fixed assets rupees 23 lakh current assets 8 lakh liabilities 8 lakh profit earned during the year 31st 3 2000 uh, during the year ending rupees 3 lakh after tax and interest but before dividend the dividend of 10 percent is declared for both the equity and preference share capital so from um, the available information we have to find out the owner's equity under entity theory and residual equity theory the calculation of owners equity under entity theory it follows the formula that is owners equity is equal to total assets minus outsiders liabilities plus reserves plus surplus so here total assets is equal to fixed assets plus current assets 23 lakh plus 8 lakh that is 31 lakh minus outsider liabilities reserves and surplus outsiders liabilities is rupees 8 lakh then reserves rupees 5 lakh then surplus how do you find out the surplus so here last line profit earned during the year ending is rupees 3 lakh right so here total profit is 3 lakh out of 3 lakh 10 percent will be uh, so 10 percent dividend will be paid to both equity and preference shareholders so 3 lakh into 10 percent sorry so here 10 percent dividend is declared on uh, both equity and preference share capital right so here total share capital is equity share capital 10 lakh then preference share capital 5 lakh so total capital is 15 lakh so on 15 lakh 10 percent dividend should be declared so 15 lakh into 10 percent so 1 lakh 50 thousand will be uh, dividend right so So here we need surplus right total profit available is 3 lakh out of 3 lakh we have to pay 1 lakh 50 thousand as dividend to shareholders so 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 50 thousand that is 1 lakh 50 thousand will be the surplus okay so here uh, total assets that is 23 lakh plus 8 lakh fixed asset plus current assets minus outsider liabilities is 8 lakh then reserves is 5 lakh plus surplus so 3 lakh is profit out of 3 lakh 1 lakh 50 thousand will be paid to shareholders as dividend right so 3 lakh minus 1 lakh 50 thousand so remaining amount is one lakh fifty thousand. So eight lakh plus five lakh plus one lakh fifty thousand. That is fourteen lakh fifty thousand. So thirty one lakh minus fourteen lakh fifty thousand. So sixteen lakh fifty thousand rupees will be the owner's equity. Okay. So uh, here we can apply one more formula. That is owner's equity is equal to equity share of capital plus preference share capital plus divisible profits so equity share capital is 10 lakh 
प्लस प्रिफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल इज फाइव लैख प्लस डिविजिबल प्रॉफिट दट इज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विच इज डिक्लेयर एज डिविडेंट राइट विच इज पेड टू द शेयर होल्डर्स सो टेन लैख प्लस फाइव लैख प्लस वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो ही आर ऑल्सो ओनर सिक्योरिटी इज रुपीज सिक्सटीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सेकेंड वन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ ओनर सिक्योरिटी एंड रेसिड्यूअल इक्विटी थेरी सो अंडर रेसिड्यूअल इक्विटी थेरी रेसिड्यूअल इक्विटी इज इक्वल टू टोटल असेट्स माइनस आउटसाइडर लाइबिलिटीज प्लस प्रिफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल प्लस डिविडेंड ऑन प्रिफरेंस शेयर्स सो टोटल असेट्स इज रुपीज थर्टी वन लैख माइनस आउटसाइडर्स लाइबिलिटीज इज एट लैख प्लस प्रिफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल इज फाइव लैख प्लस डिविडेंड ऑन प्रिफरेंस शेयर्स सो ही योर प्रिफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल वैल्यू इज रुपीज फाइव लैख एंड डिविडेंड इज टेन परसेंट ओके सो टेन परसेंट ऑन फाइव लैख दट इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज द डिविडेंट ऑन प्रिफरेंस शेयर्स सो थर्टी वन लैख माइनस थर्टीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड दट इज सेवेंटीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इज दज रेड एसिड्यूअल इक्विटी और रेसिड्यूअल इक्विटी इज इक्वल टू इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल प्लस रिजर्व प्लस सरप्लस प्लस डिविडेंड ऑन इक्विटी शेयर्स शेयर कैपिटल वैल्यू इज रुपीज टेन लैख रिजर्व रुपीज फाइव लैख प्लस सरप्लस सरप्लस विल बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय डिडक्टिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ डिविडेंड दैट इज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इंटू सॉरी थ्री लैख माइनस वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो टोटल प्रॉफिट इज थ्री लैख आउट ऑफ थ्री लैख वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड विल बी पेड टू द शेयर होल्डर्स राइट सो सर प्लस विल बी वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस डिविडेंड ऑन इक्विटी शेयर्स डिविडेंड ऑन इक्विटी शेयर्स इज रुपीज वन लैख राइट टेन परसेंट ऑन टेन लैख स्मॉल मिस्टेक इज दैट इज इट शुड बी टेन लैख प्लस फाइव लैख प्लस वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस वन लैख ओके इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल इज रुपीज टेन लैख प्लस रिजर्व रुपीज फाइव लैख प्लस सर प्लस रुपीज वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस डिविडेंड ऑन इक्विटी शेयर्स रुपीज वन लैख सो टोटल रिसिड्यूअल इक्विटी इज रुपीज सेवेंटीन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल प्रॉब्लम सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो अगेन एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम and it is um, because it is, this problem is very important for 5 and 15 marks and uh, take different examples and apply the formula okay thank you